So you know we've been excited here. We've been counting down for weeks. And on Saturday, San Antonio is going to lie right in the path of an annular eclipse for the first time since 1940. Rare, but not unheard of. And less than a year later, we'll also be in the path of a total solar eclipse. That's truly a once in a lifetime event. In this case, that explains our Eclipse Authority meteorologists tell us everything we need to know to prepare. During our solar eclipse, as the moon blocks the sun, the temperature could drop as much as 10 degrees. It is never safe to look at the sun during the annual eclipse, but if you don't have these special glasses coming up, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a pinhole projector using fun household materials. And remember, weather plays a role in all of this. Cloud-free skies are ideal for seeing this eclipse. There are plenty of events that you can attend across South Texas, many of which you can find on our website. And just know that we'll have a lot of visitors heading to the Alamo City. And lastly, we are going to be streaming the entire event on the KSAT app and the KSAT weather app. This is a once in a lifetime event that you're not going to want to miss. So we hope you'll join us. For San Antonio, the partial eclipse begins around 1024 a.m. with annularity starting at 1152 a.m., peaking at 1154 and ending at 1156. The duration of annularity is only around four minutes in San Antonio. The entire eclipse event will end at 1.33 p.m. Several other cities are also in the path. Remember, an eclipse occurs when the moon sits directly between the Earth and the sun. The moon creates a shadow. Sometimes it's just a little bit further away from us. Its orbit isn't perfectly circular. And so when it's just a bit too far, you can still see the edge of the sun. This is called an annular eclipse. An annulus is a fancy word for donut. And so that's what we call the eclipse, where we can still see the edge of the sun or the ring of fire. Weather permitting, of course, but it will be a sight to see, not only in the sky, but on the ground, too. Look under a tree, because what happens is all the little gaps between leaves make little apertures, and so you get images of the sun on the ground. That happens every day, but on a normal day, the sun is just a circle. But on eclipse day, it's a crescent, and so you see all these little crescent suns in on the ground under the trees. A few other quirks about eclipses. Temperatures do drop slightly during an annual eclipse, and you may notice wildlife acting a little weird. Birds will do the thing that they do uh, after sunset. So after the sun sets, but before it gets dark, and they do the swooping around thing, and they make a lot of noise, birds will do that. Remember, you'll need your glasses for the entire event, and make sure they're certified. If you plan to use telescopes and binoculars, don't forget to attach a solar filter. Should you not have glasses, you can also use a pinhole camera. What is that? Here's meteorologist Sarah Spivey on how you can make your own. So let's say you want to safely view the annular eclipse, but you don't have some of these guys. Well, I've got a really awesome activity that you can do with your kids, and honestly, it's fun for adults too. Here's what you need. A cereal box, a white piece of paper, a pencil, some scissors, some tape, aluminum foil, and a push pen. Step one is to trace the bottom of the cereal box onto this piece of white paper. And once you got the shape, you cut it out. Now this piece of paper is going to go onto the bottom of the cereal box. This is basically your screen, what the sun is going to project onto. You'll do that with some tape. Next, you wanna cut off these little uh, tabs here at the top of the cereal box. What you wanna do too, is you wanna cut out two holes, leaving only the middle. You just wanna tape them together like this. Take your aluminum foil and cover one side of the cereal box completely, and now tape it down. We're gonna take a pin and we're gonna prick it through the aluminum foil so that a really tight, focused beam from the sun will project onto the back of the cereal box. Remember, it is never safe to look directly at the sun. So here's actually how you use your pinhole projector. Don't point it toward the sun, put your back to the sun and align it so that the sunlight goes through the pinhole. This may take a couple of tries. Oh, this is so cool. I can actually see some of those cumulus clouds right in front of the sun right now. Everyone should be able to see the solar eclipse with just a few easy at home materials. Thanks, Sarah. Now back to San Antonio's good luck. Since we are in the path of two eclipses, San Antonio is going to be a popular place for people to visit during the events. Meteorologist Mia Montgomery tells us how that could affect you. We are very populous and easy to get to, so there will be quite a few people coming to town. 
Thousands of people from across the country are expected to visit parts of South Central Texas for the annular eclipse on October 14th. Andres Munoz with Visit SA says that out-of-town guests are naturally attracted to the San Antonio area because of the city's history, authenticity, and uniqueness. But the influx of visitors for this particular astronomical event is expected to have a notable impact on our economy. It's every part of the economy. The reality is that those travelers will come in and they're going to stay in hotels. They're going to be visiting restaurants and they're going to be visiting attractions. They're going to be able to go everywhere within the city. Therefore, the economic spill is all over town. Speaking of hotels, lodging groups in San Antonio have seen a visible increase in the number of bookings for this weekend and already a sellout in spots for the total eclipse taking place in April. October has some some energy behind it. Um, there's there's quite a lot more people booking those dates, but the April one is sold out. With our area residing in the path of the total eclipse happening in just six months time, the economic drive expected this weekend will hopefully happen again on potentially even a larger scale next spring. And those are going to be repeats and hopefully with the momentum that one eclipse drives, it will generate more uh, momentum towards more people visiting after it gets shared in social media and what have you and how special it was the first time around. A special event happening in a special place right here in South Central Texas. More proof this is a big deal. And you may be wondering if San Antonio has seen a solar eclipse like this before. Yes, we have. But a couple of things to keep in mind. Solar eclipses happen all over the Earth every six months or so. They're not necessarily rare, but being in the path of annularity in the case of the annular eclipse or in the path of totality with regards to the total solar eclipse makes this special. The last time an annular eclipse came right over San Antonio was 1940. However, here's the stat that will blow you away. According to Angela Speck, the last time the path of totality from a solar eclipse came over San Antonio was 1397. Now consider the fact that we're getting both of these eclipses in less than a year, and I'd say we've hit the celestial jackpot. For Case That Explains, I'm meteorologist Justin Horn. 1397. A lot of man-made excitement to go along with this celestial event. Coming up next, we're going to break down some of the events happening across South Texas and the Hill Country to make this eclipse viewing even more entertaining. You could watch Saturday's eclipse from your own backyard, or you could venture out to places all across South Texas, the Hill Country. There's going to be food, music, and a whole lot more. That's right. Meteorologist Mia Montgomery highlights the eclipse events that are happening throughout the weekend. From San Antonio to Uvalde to the Hill Country and beyond, there are plenty of watch party options to attend for the annular solar eclipse happening on October 14th. Take Bandera. Their Natural History Museum will be hosting the Dino Solar Eclipse event where glasses, crafts, and tours will be offered to those who reserve tickets among their many dinosaur statues. We have different events to keep the children entertained and also with the uh, astronomer talking about different issues and answering any questions. At Weston Uvalde County, a weekend's worth of events will be taking place in Uvalde, Garner State Park, and Con Can. Both fun and educational activities, food trucks, live entertainment, and more will be a part of the Stellar Fest starting as early as Friday. It's just a beautiful place to escape to, watch this awesome phenomenon happen, and then enjoy the concerts and the activities and things that we have going on. Back here in San Antonio, places like the Zoo, Scobie Education Center, the Museum, Natural Bridge Caverns, and various hotel groups will be hosting watch parties for the solar eclipse. Dr. Richard Kissel, Chief Program Officer at the Museum, knows how unique of an event this, plus the total eclipse in April, will be. It, it gives you a perspective and a realization that we're part of something so much bigger. You know, we're on this planet that's revolving around the sun, so for everything to line up perfectly for an eclipse, I think is really amazing and can really add perspective about where we are in the solar system and the universe. Mia Montgomery, KSAT 12 News.